so what are you working on with your game right now? Um, as of right now, becoming stronger, being more of a floor general leader, um, time score situation, just Tyler Eulis type stuff, uh, all small guards type stuff. And I think Coach K was was present during the game. Can you talk a little bit about Duke? Have they offered? Yes, they offered. And what do you like about it? Um, it's Duke. They have uh, they always produce great guards, good bigs. Uh, Jaleel Okafor, um, Tyus Jones. Like they have a lot of good guards. And over the years, I just like watched them and pretty much seen that the, all their guards go where they want to go. So that's what I like about it. Quade Green said yesterday it kind of felt like uh, with the, you and him and Trey Young and Duke and Kentucky, it kind of comes down to who, who decides first. Yeah. It's one of those spots. I mean, do you, does it sort of feel like that a little bit, that there's a, in a way there's an urgency to, to take one of those um, Not really. For me, it's not about going to a, like, a big-time school. It's Obviously, those are great schools, and those are top of the line, but... If, if they commit first, I'm not going to cry and pout about it because I obviously have to pick the best school that fits my game and my situation pretty much. So I have to just pretty much not focus on what they're doing, but still try to win Peace Jam, work out, and just continue to get better because if I don't, they won't want me anyway. So I'm not focusing on them. I'm, I'm just focusing on myself right now. How much contact have you had with Kentucky recently? Um, they've been contacting my dad a lot. I don't really speak to him. Could you see yourself playing with maybe Quade or Trey? Um, definitely two guard front. Yeah. Outside of Duke, Kentucky, who are some of the schools that are involved? Um, Indiana, Kansas, Georgetown. Uh, a bunch of others. I'm, I'm blanking right now. What about like UConn and Providence, some of the regional schools? Yeah, Providence and then Luke. Um, uh, UConn just came back into the loop because before they weren't recruiting, they just came back into the loop. So, yeah. Indiana stayed in contact with you. I know um, you can't avoid the Yogi comparisons. I mean, I know you've heard that before, but what do you make of those comparisons and what is it about Indiana that you like is keeping them involved? Um, like I said, for the uh, comparisons, Tyler Ulis Tyler is a small guard, uh, Yogi Ferrell is a small guard, so I pretty much have to not emulate my game after them, but do that and try to improve on what they did and continue to get better because if they were able to play there, that means I can. You've always been a high-level prospect, but your recruitment's really taken off over the summer. What do, you, what do you attribute that to? What I mean, what is it about your game that's really increased the intensity of your recruitment? Um, it's nothing special. I think I just play the game the right way, keep it simple, and lead my team and just get my teammates involved. Had you felt overlooked at any point in your career because of your size? Pardon? Had you felt overlooked at any point in your career because of your size? Um, the, the beginning of my sophomore year, I felt that way, but I didn't. My parents just stayed in my head. Coach Jefferson from uh, South Kent, now he's at Old Dominion. Um, they just pretty much told me to keep working, that there are a bunch of small guards out there, that all the schools that need to see me will see me. Talk about how, one tall, of how tall were you when, when that happened? When, same size, Same size. Five, ten, yeah. Okay. You mentioned UConn coming back into the picture. What, I guess, when did they come back in, and what are your thoughts on that program? Um, they came back in about two weeks ago, and I don't, I don't know why they left, but they left, and now they're back. That's all I'm pretty much looking at. You talk about wanting to find the right fit. What is the right fit for you? What are the most important things in picking a college? Um, I would have to say. Not someone who's all about head coach wise, not someone who's all about basketball, but someone who wants me to be a good man and have a life after basketball. So that would be the first part. And then just going to a school where I could be the lead guard, run the show, and pretty much take over. When did Duke offer you? Um, Duke offered me the same day Kentucky offered me. I think it was the last day they, they could offer kids. I don't remember, but. They both offered on the same is day. It, is it fitting that they offered you at the exact same time, having kind of the recruiting rivalry between those two places? I would say so. <laughs> How important, you know, when you look at the success specifically of those two schools in terms of churning out one and done talent, you know, preparing guys quickly for the NBA, uh, how much of an asset is that for those two schools specifically? Um, for me, I would. 
they've been doing it for so many years that you pretty much know that those are the type of schools that produce those type of kids. So if they see me fitting into the program, that means I could be one and done or two and done, maybe three and done. So for them to recruit me and have those type of kids come to the school, they're pretty much telling me something. The, the programs who have proven that they can be you know, kind of a one and done factory, if they, don't, they have an advantage over schools, we don't like that track record. Uh, not really. I would have to say it all falls on what I said before, great man, um, great staff, and they want to see me succeed not only on the court but also off the court. Talking with